Welcome to Combat Wing Show, and I'm Sifu David. Today we're gonna to show you how to get out of a headlock. Headlock! Ah! You don't get out of a headlock, then he's gonna crack you to the ground. Ah! And then his friends are gonna kick you in the face, so we're gonna show you how to get out of this headlock. <laughs> Now there's going to be three stages of a headlock. First stage is when he's around to grab and wrap his arm around your neck and before he cranks you down in the stage one. Stage two and when he cranks you down about halfway. Stage three is when he's cranking you down all the way here. Okay, and stage four is when you're on the ground. Okay, so stage one is pretty easy. Okay, is you want to keep your head straight, look up so that he can't crank you down. So if you look up, naturally your spine is going to straighten up. Okay, so look up and then grab his hand here. And then get your arm wrapped around and then poke his eye backwards. And then he's going to loosen this grip. Just the bump. Okay. So when you feel that there's his hand wrapping around your neck, go ahead. Something wrapping around it. You really immediately grab it. Immediately straighten up your spine, look up. And then if he's trying to crank you down, trying to crank me down now. It's very hard for him to do it because my spine is very straight and I'm looking up. Okay, so that first keeps your structure to prevent you from getting to stage two. Okay, the lower you get, the worse it is for you. So you want to keep yourself upright. Okay, so one, and then wrap it around, poke him in the eye, and then you all jump up right away. One. Okay, so that's stage one. Pretty easy. Okay, so if you can get out stage one, then that's the best. Okay, stage two. Let's say you don't have time, you patch it down to here. All right. So in this place, you want to um, put your hand here again, but then you got your hand here, right? You grab, you can flick the ball right here. Bam. Okay. And then he's going to let go most of the time. Okay. If he doesn't let go, you can use let go of this hand to push on his hip. Okay. So that's stage two. Okay. So stage two. You still want to grab his hand here, okay? But then he's kind of cranked you down to this level. You have this hand free, so slap him in the balls. I'm just slapping his thigh right now because I actually don't want to slap the ball. But slap him the balls, he's going to loosen up a bit. And then you want to use your arm as a frame to push him off the frame. Okay? So just like this, you can push on the ribs or push on the hip bone. Okay, it's, it could be pretty painful for him. Um, like there's a this bone, you push on yourself, this bone here, the hip bone, you can't nudge on it, you can feel the pain. You try to, if you nudge on your ribs here, you can feel the pain too. So what you're actually doing is balls and then kind of like doing a little check with your forearm. And then that will usually bump the guy off, right? Um, but make sure that you do the distraction first with the balls because if you have to let him, you have to make him kind of do that first okay so we come back we show you the last stage uh, before you hit the ground the last stage which is stage three of a headlock defense welcome back so here's stage three of how to defend against a headlock so let's say you can do a headlock and he cranks you down we pass stage two down to stage three now we're all the way down here so that's why stage three I can't get back up because he's got his all his weight on me okay and I can't really reach his ball because I'm too low all right, so I have to sacrifice and how you do that is you're going to grab, wrap around here, hit, connect your hip to his hip and grab his meat or his clothes or his belt or whatever here. Sometimes his elbow is here, you can grab his elbow, okay? And then basically give him a nice hug. And this foot, you want to put it over here in front of his foot. And then you want to turn this way. All right, and use the momentum to turn around this and now in this position he still got his headlock on me he hasn't disengaged yet so what I have to do is to put my hand here behind the jaw where it hurts get a higher position okay and then chisel his jaw down all right that will help him get some space here so that he loosen up his headlock it still doesn't loosen up you can let go and slap his balls here all right and then you want to push against his jaw and look up past your ear and now usually disengage his grip. If he doesn't, you can still keep slapping his balls. Once you disengage his grip, you can let go of this hand 
his hand's still here. Get behind him, put his hand on his shoulder and his hip, and do a push up on him. While you get up, you kick him in the back, and you back up. Okay, so that's a very involved sequence. So I'm gonna do it one more time for you. Okay, so he grabs it, get him too low, all right? And gotta turn it side by side, and this way, get into this position, chisel, chisel, balls, get over, both hands on, kick him in the back, check my planks. Okay, so that's the last stitch. Um, defense on a headlock and you don't want to be done position but if you do get in a position you need to know what to do so if you train this don't train it on a hard floor I recommend get some mats to do this because it does uh, uh, potentially cause injury if you don't train on the mat uh, if you don't have a mat you just do it very slowly but just like how I did it right there okay so that's it I will see you in the next lesson Hey, I hope you enjoyed the lesson. If you like this channel, make sure you subscribe to this channel. Click the bell next to the subscribe button. Get all the latest lessons that come out almost on a daily basis. You get them right to your email. And if you want to enter our DVD contest every week, we're giving away a free accelerated Wing Chun Quick Start DVD. All you have to do is subscribe to this channel, click the bell, and then make a comment and like this video, and you'll automatically be entered into the draw. So this is Sifu David, until next time, train hard, train safe.